Who's in charge here? The Claws! Claws are master. Hello YouTube and YouTube viewers, it is Cody Williams again, and today I'm going to show you guys Gil from Bubble Cubbies. He's a little merman boy with blue hair. It's awesome. He's cool. He stole my hairstyle. Which my, it's actually my niece's favorite cartoon at the moment, which might be why I'm her favorite uncle, you know, because, yeah, I look like Gil, supposedly. At least I get told that every day. Oh well. So anyways, I was, uh, wanted something new for him, because Merman, he's done mermaids. So I want to play around with some bee bodies. So we're going to use uh, a blush bee body, a green bee body, two hearts, uh, and some 260s. So uh, those are prerequisites you're going to need. Um, it's designed to work otherwise. We're going to use a blush 260 for the face first. If you watch the good old fashioned superhero series, this is the face we use for the guys who don't use the hands. So we'll make a one inch bubble, well, about six fingers of the tail, uh, about a four finger bubble, followed by the fingertips. Followed by a bubble that comes back and connects. Followed by a five or six finger bubble so that it curves. Making the little bottom kind of face part. Now this one, we could pop this now, make the nose, or we can add the hair first, which makes this a more secure section because it's going to be So, blue of course. Tie this bad boy off. And we're going to attach that, prefer to the side with the nose. This is the nose. I don't get to do that. This is going to be the nose later. So, preferably that side. Now you're going to make a little bit of a Followed by a twist. Followed by a little bit of a twist. Followed by two finger bubbles. And connect that back to the ear twist. Now, I'm going to pop once with a bubble the same size, so a full finger bubble. Connect back to the other ear. Do the same thing on the other side. Connect back to the ear. So we're kind of going to make this full off effect happen right here. And I need one more on the back, just for some hair safe. Connecting back to the very beginning. Break off the blue. Break off the blood, pull it onto it. And this is going to be his nose. Now he's a little bit Italian. His nose is kind of bubbly. He's a bubble guppy, he's kind of bubbly with them, and their heads are too big. So, there we go. Oops, I just want to hide these. There we go. And this is his face. Like, so, this is like Mario face, the Popeye face, the Superman face, the Batman face. This is a really common face we use for every game. So, set him aside. We're going to need to make his body, and we're going to blow up a bee body from the beginning to end. We're not going to reverse inflate for tail, we just blow up normal. Like so. So it off. You just need a little bit of air. Actually, I think you need more air than that. Let me see. No, okay. Do two small ear twists. We'll try not to make them too obnoxiously huge. Now there are two bubbles, as I should have said, and we're going to split twist these. Go down to the knot itself, not the nozzle. Split them. Like so. A little bit of manipulation makes his belly go a little more barrel chested, so you can see he has kind of more narrow of a waist. Now we attach that to the head. We try to at least. And that's going to give us his head, like so. Now we're going to make his arms with another 260. Oh, drop some balloons. This one we're going to make three ear twists at the very beginning. So, however you like doing it, give me three ear twists. Thank you! Alright, now, do a ear twist for an arm and elbow, a hand, and a jump, give him a hand. Attach him. One side. By the way, I put the front ear twist horizontal, the back ear twist vertical, that way it holds his head a little more in a pose, not like. So, that's the plan there. Do the same to the other side, pinch twist, followed by three ear twists. Whoop! Sorry, he's okay. Okay, now, here is the top half, heel. 
like so. Now we're gonna make his tail. So, green bee body. Stretch this balloon out from the bottom. Stretch it a lot, a lot, a lot, a little more, very good. And we're gonna reverse inflate. So you wanna pull the tail apart first. Kind of like so. And we've got Jose Alabino on his eek. Next time. All right, make two, actually make this off now a little bit. Two decent sized wheel twists. Like so. Beginning of his tail. Attach that. But he's not very hydrodynamic at the moment because he doesn't spiral like that. We're not gonna do that, we need some hearts. Now this could look actually better with 260s, but I kinda wanna just I had a bunch of these later on, I wanna use them, so. Alright, uh blow each one up. The same size if you can. Tie it with a soft knot. Please. Thank you. As you play with your finger there, of course, giggity, so that it uh, curves in the heart, loops more. Soften up again, pull the soften up a little bit, make a small bubble, and ear twist it like you do with the medium before, like so. Do the same thing on both sides. These are his flippers. Now, connect these together. Bow tie and matches. <laughs> Not there though. Alright, cool. Now, make a bubble in the very end of his tail and attach that bubble to the hearts. Curve accordingly. And the rest is just sharp yard. Five head, that's where it's forehead. <laughs> five, five head. Anyways, now then, we've got Gil from Bubble Guppies. Gil, you're so cute and puffy and cuddly, I'm gonna die. I'm sorry, I was in the old videos. Alright, now we have Gil with the awesome blue hair. You guys have a great day today, a better tomorrow. God bless you guys. I'll draw the front on, put the picture in the beginning for you so you know what you're gonna make before you watch the video. So you'll know you need some weird shapes. Uh, if not, if you don't have hearts, um, yeah, blue twists. You're fine. Have fun guys, thanks for watching, subscribe, like, all the good jazz. See you later.